Consider the humble tortilla, the starchy staple that sustains civilizations throughout Latin America. Historians will tell you that the development of a simple, stable, mass-produced food was a big deal. And even today, it's still huge, especially at Manuel's restaurant in Port Isabel. We're known actually for our flour tortillas. And again, it goes back to my mom. You know, she was the one that uh, they started making those big flour tortillas at Isabel. You say big. When I say big, I mean big. How big? They're about 12, maybe 13 inches long, or wide. <laughs> so it's almost like a pizza. Yeah. For nearly 40 years, Manuel Barroso has been serving his mother's famous giant homemade tortillas at his namesake restaurant. This family recipe is one of the big draws here, and most of Manuel's relatives have lent a hand over the years, like his son Frank. Comes out to 28.90. Our tortillas, that's, that's really a handmade, homemade, lard-free vegetable oil and other, other ingredients, I won't say. But yeah, that's, that's, that's where the magic happens, right there. Breakfast or lunch, you'll leave Manuel's as stuffed as one of their tortillas. It's classic, uncomplicated Tex-Mex from a family that's been cooking for decades. And they've mastered the basics. Manuel's other claim to fame is the essential Latin condiment. Hot sauce. That's that's top seller, best seller right there. You know, I made four cases the other day and completely out the next day. This stuff is famous. I always said, hey, if it hits the fan, I can always just sell hot sauce for a living. Frank, I've got this thing. I have to try the hot sauce of any restaurant before I eat at the restaurant. So, I hear that. I hear that. Right? Is that is that cool? That's cool. Huh? I got this right here. You can try. All right. Okay. Flour tortilla to go with it. <laughs> oh, you, you give me one of the, the little tortillas. That's a little one, yes. Mmm. <laughs> Told the guys we're staying. <laughs> Wait. Manuel's has been open since 1983, and their loyal following includes locals and winter Texans alike. Folks come from far and wide, but the secret sauce that makes this place so popular has nothing to do with the salsa. The quote on the front of Manuel's menu explains it all. You know, I read a lot of books, and in one book it says, you know, God doesn't care about the size of your wallet. He cares about the size of your heart. And I want, I want to think that I have a good sized heart. You know, but because of him. Your dad must must be something special to be able to start a restaurant and keep it going this long with this many happy customers. We're doing something right. What is it? What, what is it about your dad? I mean, we get to know our customers. You know, we, we, we joke with them. We play with them. We get to see the kids grow up. Good morning. How you doing, Bruce? Long time no see. Welcome back. <laughs> My customers, man, they're the best customers anybody could have. Good morning, good morning. And I honestly believe that. Big portions and big hearts. It's a simple recipe for success at Manuel's. But simple doesn't always mean easy. And this humble, hardworking owner Thanks. is facing the reality of his declining health. Hit, hit a little snag with your dad recently. Tell us about that. What, what's going on? He, uh, it's all right. He, uh, was sick. He didn't think he was gonna make it. Sorry, right. it's just been emotional. Uh, emotional week, especially with that, because not knowing what's wrong, are we still going to be open? You know, these questions run into my mind, anxiety, I mean, stress. I didn't know anything about my dad. I'm tired. 
What would have happened had you not been able to come back? What would have happened at that point? I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, because my wife was worried. My son was worried about my health and my well-being. And I think that if I'm gone, it's going to be gone. How does that make you feel? Sad. And only because my, wife, my, my mother and I did so much to make it go. <sighs> Sorry. In the shadow of the Port Isabel Lighthouse sits a beloved local landmark. Customers know it not only for the authentic Tex-Mex, but for an authentic Texan. Even through stormy seas, Manuel Barroso keeps his course true. And no matter what lies beyond the horizon, his heritage, his family, and his beliefs have already made him richer than most. It's, it's been my life with, you know. It's provided for my kids, for me. You know. uh, it's like my baby. <laughs> that it's been, it's been a joyful ride, good ride. The Lord's been good to me. Yes, it's, it's been good to me. We've been blessed. <laughs> I feel good when I think back about it. Of all the stuff that I've been able to accomplish, do. I'm not rich, I never made any money, you know. But didn't you make it? Right there, right there. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.